Welcome to Seven Trumpets Prepper, and guys, welcome to another review of Battle Box. Now, this edition is Battle Box Special Edition Zombie Edition. All right, so um, have no idea what we're going to get into just yet, but very excited about it. Cut the plastic on it, ready to rock out. Um, just in case we do have any zombie issues, I brought the AK with me today. Make sure to check this out in a separate video. I'm going to shoot old school 22 AK. Um, I'm going to start doing some videos about tactical uh, 22 stuff like that. But anyway, with that said, let's check out this battle box. Big box this month too, by the way. All right. So this edition is zombies. Getting ready for zombies. All sorts of goodies. Uh, according to the sheet here. Now this box this month... For those that looked at last month, I think last month's battle box was a $288 value. Um, this one's almost right up there with it at $280.37. So anyway, with that said, let's get started. Here's all sorts of fire start material. Uh, we'll lay that over to the side. Now the first thing that we're going to look for is a Zombie Tender uh, Cascade Fire Starting Kit. So there is tons and tons of stuff in here blow this off okay so here this is a nine dollar and 99 cent value according to the sheet um, non-toxic 100 percent wet waterproof all weather fire never expires can be lit with a spark creates char uh, one hour 12 minute total burn time let's take a look see what we got so right there and they look like eyeballs <laughs> oh my goodness that's that's very interesting um, okay, there, oh, I see the wicks too right there. Um, you can see right there. So that that's different. Matter of fact, let me see. I think I actually have, yes, I do. I have some matches from the other night, and uh, we'll get one of these out and give this a go because I now I've got my curiosity sparked. So I'm going to move the AK out of the way here and get us an eyeball out. Stormproof matches, great for starting a fire. Um, all right, we'll let that do its thing, and uh, we'll see how that works out. And, and that is a tinder, so, you know, you can set that there and build your fire up around it. Um, pretty neat. Um, I like the container how it seals good. I mean, that don't take up a lot of space. You can go in your bug out bag very conveniently. All right, guys. So that was the Cascades Fire Starting Kit. $10 value. $9.99. All right. Next, we have a Zombie Paracord Bead by Barrett Custom Knives. And right here, here's a bead. Um, looks like a zombie head. Um, yeah, zombie skull. Apparently, uh, 50% off any of our standard skills. I like the gas gas mask thing. That's pretty neat looking. All right, so that um, that bead is a $25 value. Um, don't know really uh, too much on that. I mean, I guess you could do that on a paracord or something. Um, the Zombie Survival Sardine Can. That's $11.23 value. Now, let's check this bad boy out right here. This is Zombie Apocalypse. Civilian slash military grade survival kit in a sardine can. Check it out at zombie survival sardine can dot com. Uh, on the back of it here, we've got says that this contains a compass, whistle, matches, first aid, and instructions. Razor blade, pencil, non aspirin pain reliever, fire starter cube, adhesive bandage, energy nugget, wire clip, reflective signal surface, fish hook, fishing line, and spool, duct tape, note paper, sugar, salt, gum, reclosable bag, antibiotic content. Um, tea, safety pen, and alcohol prep pad. Uh, awesome. Not only that, you can boil water in that and drink from it in, in a pinch. It's pretty awesome. That right there is $11.23 value. Very nice. All right, moving on. We've got the Zombie Hunter PVC Morale Patch. <laughs> Check that out, guys. Right there you go. Put them in the sights and the crosshairs. Uh, pretty neat stuff. 
uh, morale patches. I get a laugh out of some of these. The trunk monkey ones are hilarious. I love the tactical trunk monkey. Um, next, we've got um, zombie outbreak response team. There's the biohazard. That right there, an eye catcher for a jacket um, or your backpack. That's an $8.95 value, and that's pretty close to the cost of those around local because um, those that I've seen tactile shops, morale patch is pretty expensive. Uh, next, we have a zombie survival drink in the basic kit. That's $4.73. It says, zombie survival can. Let's read the instructions. In case of zombie apocalypse, drink entire contents of can to ensure speedy escape. Um, fill can with rocks, then throw can at zombie. Substitute for gas mask in case of toxic cloud. Use can to collect water, bull if necessary. Dispose of can properly. Sounds of litter can alert zombies to your presence. <laughs> so, let's see what we got filled up in this thing. It's got uh, lots of caffeine. Yeah, I figured that was going on. And you got lots of carbs. So, if you have to get something to give you a fix and a pinch, that can keep you running in between a meal, maybe, if you're on the go. All right, so that total for the basic box is $67.85 value this month. Uh, moving down, we've got the advanced box, a zombie paracord knife. That's a $14.29 value. And we take a look, see here. Now most all the knives that I get out of Battle Box, they've got a pretty decent edge on it. This one here um, you're going to have to hit it on the stone just a little bit to get it there, but otherwise, pretty nice. I mean, it's a, a full tang knife, paracord wrapped. I like that. It's got the plunge to it. That's one of my favorite type knives. It's got that where you can get the extra plunge in. Help make that a lot more firm. Paracord's good and tight on it. Um, got a really nice grip. Sheath's pretty nice. Velcro bag. Throw that to your belt. All right, moving on. The Wazoo Survival Gear Do-It-Yourself Zombie Paracord Bracelet. Um, let's see here if this is it. Um, no, that's going to be the next one, so let's see right here. There we go. Zombie Paracord Bracelet. Right there you go. Um, that is a $15 value. Um, it's got the... Uh, clip and everything you need to do it um, see what it says here it contains all the essential survival components instruction craft a wearable zombies uh, outbreak kit it's got a uh, cord it's got um, two ranger bands one razor blade the weaving instructions everything you need to do um, very nice so moving forward we've got zombie paracord uh, 100 feet of it. That's this right here. Made in the USA. As always, Battle Box knocks it out of the park. American made people. Anybody got time for China? Um, anyway, that is a $9.74 value. Um, looks like some good quality paracord. You can never be without enough paracord for anything. Multiple uses for that. Alright, next we've got the Pro is a SOG Survival Hawk. That's a $64 value. Now, I'm gonna tell you, the Survival Hawk, uh, SOG knives are some pretty hardcore stuff, and this right here is no playing no games. It's got heavy duty pick point on it. Um, you definitely do some splitting with that. Uh, um, lots of useful uh, tools that. The uh, For those that's uh, curious, the uh, Blade Steel's 2CR um, and the comes with a sheath and everything very nice um, and, and right here it's got a good paracord grip so you don't you're not cinching up into plastic and everything um, very nice knife we'll uh, we'll probably give that a test go here just shortly um, next up we've got the zombie target 24 by 36 poster special edition that's a nine dollar and fifty cent value so let's fold this out and see what we got here all right, we we're gonna do a tactical 22 video. I think I found just found what we're gonna shoot here shortly. And check that out. That's by Battle Box. So uh, we'll eradicate some zombies here shortly with that. All right. 
get my card. Next up, we've got the Pro Plus. So now we're up to $280.37 value. As if the SOG Survival Hawk wasn't enough, we've got an additional knife here. Very nice stuff. This is the Mora Knife Bushcraft Survival Knife. It's got the sharpener built into the sheath. It's blades made in Sweden. It's a carbon blade. Just lots of options right there. Um, the sheath, um, heavy duty. Um, for those that are curious on the specifications right there, the weight, it's only 10 ounces. Um, overall blade length, nine. It's a nice looking knife right there. So with that said, before we end this video, i tell you what I'm gonna do is I'm going to open up this SOG knife. We're gonna do a little bit of test and chopping on the range of that. And then make sure to check out in the next video coming up on the Tactical 22s, I'm gonna shoot up this uh, poster here um, and target. So anyway, let's get this knife out and give it a test go. All right guys, so to test this out on the go here, this right here is roughly about a half inch thick. And now I'm not good at throwing knives. I ain't even gonna attempt that, but what I am gonna try to do is just hack through this. So let's see how good it does. Not too awful bad. Uh, let's try the pick point. I'm just gonna try to just see how far this pick will go. Uh, well, it didn't go all the way through. Let me let my camera help get backed up here and we'll give it one more try. Yeah, it don't go all the way, but um, you know, if you're definitely dealing with a uh, tactical fighting situation right there, I wanna promise you that's gonna pull some meat back. Um, that's, that's solid right there. This has only been sprayed with shotgun pattern on, on the range and that, that eat through that in about five or six whacks. So, I mean, it's definitely a mean little toy. Uh, take that on the go with you. So very, very nice piece of equipment. Guys, make sure to check out Battle Box. Check them out on Facebook. Like them on Facebook. And make sure to subscribe to Battle Box if you haven't become a subscriber. Also, make sure to check out the AK-22 video coming up. I'm going to shoot some zombies, and I'm going to go over some of the older Tactical 22 information. So until we see you again here at 7 Trumpets Prepper Channel, I hope you have a most blessed day. And Yahushua night.